Hello, my name is Ananya Apte. I'm 18 years old. I'm an engineering first year student. I'm contesting in group number three. And my topic is, yes, I'm Savarkar. In the name of God, in the name of Bharat Mata, in the name of all the martyrs that have shed their blood for Bharat Mata, by the love innate in all men and women that are bare to the land of my birth, wherein the sacred ashes of my forefathers and which is the cradle of my children, by the tears of Hindu mothers for the children whom the foreigner has enslaved, imprisoned, tortured and killed, I am convinced that without absolute political independence or Swarajya, my country can never rise to the exalted position among the other nations of the earth, which is a due and convinced also that Swarajya can never be attained except by the waging of a bloody and relentless war against the foreigner. I solemnly and sincerely swear that I shall from this moment do everything in my power to fight for independence and place the lotus crown of Swaraj on the head of my mother. These rousing words were penned by a young 21-year-old man who founded Abhinav Bharat and demanded for complete freedom when Congress moderates and other political outfits were asking for partial freedom or just concession. He was none other than Vinayak Damodar Savarkar, a great writer whose words had the power to light up a fire within your soul. He never wielded a gun himself, as his gun was his pen, and the power of his pen and the use of history as a tool to inspire young men on the path of revolution is what he did. Savarkar's thoughts were way ahead of his time. His modern views on social practices like caste system and its complete dismantling in order to ensure Hindu unification and total eradication of untouchability posit him in a very liberal light. He believed in cow protection and its utilitarian aspect rather than worshipping the cow. He believed in the concept of Hindutva which had no relation to the theological constructs of Hindu religion but was an inclusive cultural and national ideology. He believed Hindutva's reigning deity needed to be Narsimha, the man lion, rather than the docile cow as he thought we become what we worship. Vinayak Damodar Savarkar was a multi-dimensional personality, a freedom fighter, social reformer, poet, historian, political leader and philosopher all combined into one. His thoughts on modernity, social and religious reforms, scientific temperament, use of technological tools are still relevant even in the 21st century. He had written to the then Prime Minister of the country Jawaharlal Nehru that we must secure our borders. He also urged him to get foreign nuclear scientists to India and empower the nuclear capabilities of our nation. Savarkar believed in strengthening the military and making India a robust nation. Pokhran nuclear test, air surgical strikes, Balakot air strikes are all testimony to his vision. He believed in the concept of self-reliance, be it in defense or otherwise. Recently, Prime Minister Modi coined the Atmanirbhar Bharat scheme on the onset of COVID-19 pandemic-related economic package. Savarkar preached the idea of self-reliance right from the very beginning. He believed in self-assertion of the nation, which many a time could have no other option than an armed one. He derided the pusillanimity of Ahimsa and believed that militarization was a prerequisite to a strong nation. He said, we can all agree that Ram Rajya is an ideal empire, but we cannot deny the fact that Ram Rajya was established by killing Ravana and not by non-violent satyagraha or fast. Savarkar was a die-hard rationalist and advocated mechanization, militarization, strong economy and scientific temperament. It is deeply saddening that this man has to face the ire of people having vested interests. The plaque of his name getting destroyed, statues blackened, education boards petitioning to remove Veer from his name in textbooks. Wasn't the pain that he suffered during his lifetime enough? Not just in the cellular jail, he was kept in custody even after independence. When will this man get his due that he so rightly deserves? He's called Mafi Veer by people who have absolutely no credentials to talk about a man of Savarkar's stature. 
Many keep ranting about his mercy petitions. But were they really mercy petitions? They were merely a legal and legitimate way to secure release. He wanted to get out of jail and serve the nation and he was a barrister who knew his rights. So were they really mercy petitions? Was he really a stooge of the British? Is that why British kept him under conditional arrest even after 13 long years? Is that why they made him abstain from politics? Is that why British intelligence reports repeatedly suggested that we cannot trust this man? There are people debating whether he should get Bharat Ratna or not. But the truth is, if Savarkar gets Bharat Ratna, it would add to the glory of the award rather than the man. Being from a Maharashtrian family, I have always been inspired and motivated by Savarkar right from my childhood. I strongly believe that his ideology and his vision must transcend beyond boundaries and hence this time I chose to speak in English and break the language barriers and reach out to the entire nation. Vinayak Damodar Savarkar is one of those rare individuals who have the potential to rise like a phoenix from the dusty annals of history despite unparalleled advocacy against him by a section of his ideological rivals. It is imperative for us to understand the ideals of this unsung hero in a nuanced and comprehensive manner. I think these lines perfectly encapsulate the spirit of this great man. Peer parbat se hoi hai ab pighalni chahiye Is Himalay se koi ganga nikalni chahiye Mere dil se na sahi to tere dil se hi sahi Ho kahi bhi aag lekin aag jalni chahiye I am his vision. I am his ideology. I am the responsible youth of this nation. I am Bharat Ratna Vinayak Damodar Savarkar. Thank you.